Um, this poem is called We Will Always Have the Same Sky. So this is a pretty new poem. Actually, it's going to be my second time to perform this ever. So this poem is about... Um, I'm sure all of you have had that close friend at one point in your life and then something happened and then things are just not the same. And maybe it's taken you years or just a long time to recover from that. But then, you know, I had to learn later on that, you know, sometimes it's okay that people will come and people will go in your life. And this poem is about me basically accepting that. Like one of my close friends, yeah, something happened and now we're not that close anymore. It took me a long time to heal from that. And that's why I can perform this poem now in front of you. So again, this poem is called, We Will Always Have the Same Sky. Brother, I have always been afraid to write about you. I have always been afraid that you would somehow find my poetry, my prose. Whatever you call these letters, I stitch together and see that my embroidery looks kind of a lot like you. I visited the place where we first met last August and I found out that you can still make me cry. And to think it's been three years. <laughs> Crazy, right? I used to love that city. Now I still do. But last August, I discovered that there are landmines under every sidewalk. Those places have traces of all the ice cream we ate. Our laughter on the train. Echoes of all the poetry and stories and music we gave each other. Bittersweet landmines. Each time, they exploded a smile into my face, but then... Dark smoke would come choke it out and take its place. I only cry for the dead, but you saw how I cried over you at the apartment elevator that night. I think you told me to stop, but I'm not sure. All I remember is street lights, the taste of wet salt, and you looking you like you were having a hard time breathing, know that I felt the same or not. Sometimes I wonder why God never let me lose as many people as you have. Maybe he knew that I would barely be able to handle losing you. Now, all I see are your pictures and posts. Intangible you. But I can see that you have grown in some parts. I hope you have. But I also see a lot of tiredness and pain and change. I don't think I can make you laugh anymore. I don't know what your plans are now. I don't know if you still want to make films, if you still want to go everywhere you said you'd go. And even if I will never, ever hear you knock again, know that my door is always open. And sometimes I am just comforted knowing that we will always have the same sky. Thank you.